Hi everyone, this is Usman from Tech and Talk. Today we are going to integrate Material UI into a React application. For your information, we are using latest React JS uh, version in this application. So let let's get started. I will start from the docs of Material UI. Currently, this is version five of MUI. You can see that when you go to docs, MUI core, and Material UI, you can see that version in that drop down here. And there is a little bit change in this version as compared to the last version. If you go back in v4, you can see the commands were pretty much different. Previously, it was ngm install Material UI dash core slash core, but now it is. If I go to the installation, it is mui slash material right so there is a change material ui is not now named as mui <clears throat> so we need for the consistency we need to use the latest commands and this version is compatible with react 18 the other version that was v4 it's not directly compatible we need to add legacy peer dependency flag along with this command to make it compatible with react.js all right let's go back to the latest mui framework and whenever we are using the material ui we need to make sure we are installing these three packages mui slash material emotion slash react and emotion slash styled because we need to provide this styling engine and the styles along with those MUI material library. So these are the default style components. We can choose between this one and the style engine SC and style components. It's our choice, whatever we want to use. So for now, with default configuration, we only need this command here, which will be installing the three packages. Let me copy paste this from here and let's jump back to the uh, back to our exercises um directory and let me run command here and to install uh these three packages are going to be installed into our application this will take some time to install and once they're installed we can start using them so it's installed now let me run the application now and let's try some components here inside our dashboard view all right at the moment it's running the application meanwhile let's try to add some material ui controls here let's say we want to add a text field so this will be coming from the material ui now and let's also try to add some button i am a button let me press ctrl s and let's see the views okay button is not defined which means i haven't included that here now it should be working all right so i am a button is here and text field is now from material ui we can check that by inspecting those two um, elements and those should be now coming from material ui right you can see those classes and these are from the material ui that's fine Let's try some, uh, you know, some styling on those components. Let's go to the docs and explore the components. Let's say, let's jump first jump into the button. Uh, so we can have uh, many variants in the button. Let's say we are going to use that contained, right? So let's use directly the contained one into our code right here and let's see the difference now okay you can see now the color of the button is changed on hover you can see a shadow is being applied so this is all coming from material ui next thing could be if i want to go somewhere um, let's say in that the same doc let's say we have that text field and let's try to add text field with some properties let's say we are also uh, we also want to add text field here this one with a border um, or maybe maybe the number field i guess there are a lot of options in the material ui we can see that but let's try the simpler one this time um, we can just replace this one with the one from docs you can now see that it's very you know styled component 
already built and prepared in material ui so this is how we can integrate components from material ui track directly into our code so if i can go to the nav bar um let's try to add if there is a nav bar component here yes we have application bar we can add this one right so for that one let's let's say um this one here the very first one we want to integrate this one into our code let's copy this um component score from here and directly paste that here <clears throat> um all right there's a lot of code which is not required let me remove the extra bits from here like that one um, okay i want to move all those at the top i can just simply cut those okay now errors should be gone and for the imports i can place those imports here we have icon menu button box all right we have already button so it should be working fine now let's see how it looks um menu is missing all right so where is the menu icon so i don't have uh the icon stuff at the moment so we can comment this out for now and uh menu icon menu icon where is it menu icon um, this one here <clears throat> all right and now we can see that we have that nav bar at the top of our at the top of our page which looks good so this is how we can go through that documentation and try different components and we also can see some of the parts regarding customization here if we want to customize especially around the theme <clears throat> we can customize the theme as well we will try to create detailed video on that one how to customize theme in um, by using material ui and also we can create a separate video on how to set up a layout of a react app using mui so we'll do that in separate videos for now we have integrated mui into our react app and we tried the different elements and all of those are and all of those are working well in case of any query or question do us in the comments and keep coding